And as always, we're going to be looking for accurate context, good risk management, and always exercising good patience. Everybody who's traded has gone through periods of time where their strategy hasn't worked. Where if not a hard stop, you should reevaluate the trades you're in uh, based on time. That's what we're here for, is to put ourselves in the best success. A trading routine does that, builds that habit, lets you know what to work on, what to reflect on, and what to improve on the next day. All right, welcome to Make Hope Money, everyone. The opportunity to trade a live account for me. Looking forward to an interesting session today. This is me. I'm the senior performance coach at uh, Top Step. I've been around the block a couple of times. If you've done it in futures, I've probably done it. CFTC disclaimer. What we are doing here is for educational purposes only. There's no suggestion or urging of anybody to take any of these trades. You guys are deciding on these trades. This is, an, this is a live account. This is my account. But I would always want to remind everybody that there's a lot of risk in futures and you do run the risk of losing all or more of your initial investment as these are leveraged products. Risk capital is money that you can afford to lose and it's the only money that you should be using to trade with. It's one of the reasons we like Top Step so much. You succeed in the trading combine and we're going to put the risk capital up for you. There is no expectation for, for performance, positive or, ne or negative, in this account, in this, in this regard, um, because past performance is never indicative of future results. Hypoth uh, hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations, and to me the biggest one is there's no accountability, no rules, and no consequence. Put the little skin in the game, like in the trading combine, you're going to find out what it's like to really be a trader. So let's go through the rules briefly here. Uh, kindness and respect are expected above everything. There are always um, differences of opinion. It's what makes these markets so good. You can have a couple of people unable to talk, but we're all going to be involved in the decision making. And if you are talking about a trade, the context of the trade is usually going to be helpful, although sometimes it causes us to miss a trade now and again, but that's okay. Uh, remember, this is for educational purposes. Uh, the, we're going to use the chat rooms in YouTube and in Zoom to discuss trades. You're going to, you're all going to be able to vote. I've f figured out how I can poll people on YouTube, as well as the, the poll in Zoom. We're going to focus on the MES for opportunities. We're not going to trade just to trade. A smart trader reminded me to to add that to the rules, and feedback is always appreciated and vital for continuing to succeed here in Make Hogue Money. So if anybody would like to chat today, let me know by raising your hand or chiming in in the chat room here. We've got Vince, Joe, congratulations on 55 years, Joe. That is amazing. 55 year anniversary of marriage. It's been a big year for you, Joe. Daniel, Joe Wallace, good morning. Fred, good morning. And on YouTube, Khalid, Urban Cowboy, JD, Nas Tick, and Jason Lewis. So look where we are. We are right in the middle of yesterday's profile value. We, here's the daily chart. We've been talking about the fact that we've been in a short time area of balance. We're in the middle of that area of balance. Good morning, Julian. Dude, I don't think we're thinking about taking an opening range trade today, right? I don't know where Randolph is. I, he texted me last night. I think he was out goofing around. Um, Mrs. Duke came home from a little bit of a vacation. She was at her sister's house, so he was batching it for a few, for a little while. I would imagine they probably went out and, and uh, hung out together for a little while and had a little bit of fun, so... You know, Randolph is uh, is not as young as he used to be, and uh, he may be uh, suffering from uh, the uh, the personal uh, cr personally created flu. 
Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard from him this morning. He was. I don't think he was watching the the, the prep either. So. Yeah, he's on the honeydew list now for sure, for sure, right? Uh, Julian, thank you very much. And so here, I mean, we're coming into the open here. Still, I have nobody that wants to chat. I see a couple of folks that have chatted in the past. It's okay if you want to chat again. But of course, it's totally up to you. If you don't feel like it, you don't want to, that's fine. That's fine. I'd chat, but I have to wander around the room here. No sweat, Andy. And maybe another time. Hello again. Morning, Frank. <clears throat> So I'm going to bring in a platform here that's a little bit different than the one we're looking at, but it, it points out the opening range quite readily. Uh, I'm going to bring in the other one here. That one includes the overnight. So we're going to take a look here. This is this gold bar here is the opening range. Where is it opening? In value. So opening range trade, when you guys hear me talk about opening in value, uh, it means that um, you know I'm usually going to be patient and wait for trade locations as, as the day goes on. Good morning, Kevin, as the day goes on. So, you know, we're looking at a $6 opening range here so far. Here's the profile from yesterday. Excess low here in range, in value. Patience, we have a weak high here. Not anomaly up here. And naked points of control above. If you guys didn't notice this morning, I'm still wearing my, my rally sweater. Took a look below the opening range first. Which is coming back into and staying in value, at least for now. Good morning, Columbus. Good morning, Rusty Golfer. Mm -hmm. So, on the daily again, are we getting pretty cheap here? I know that, uh, you know, we, we, if we were looking at the candle bodies here, where the where price has been rejected below, is there an opportunity here for us? I mean, we're we're looking at the close here, thirty eight ninety five. Thirty eight ninety five is pretty much the volume point of control. We've got the TPO point of control down here at thirty eight eighty eight eighty nine here area. Yeah, that's why, Fred, I, you, you can kind of hear them. Um, I'm, I think I'm looking for opportunities to see if we can find a weakness in good trade location to buy it here because of that, that poor low. And, you know, don't forget that we also have a whole bunch of poor lows above that we were looking at when we put in this week's low. So we've got... Well, this is probably not going to look the same if we were to look in March. Because now it's a new contract, right? So we were looking at poor high here. We got to. Uh, where did they go? Here's the, here's the other one. And Fred, I know you've been kind of focused on that gap when we were up there. There's another uh, poor high, and then another poor high above that. So there's a lot of unfinished upside auctions. Things have changed, of course. But when things change the other direction, those are going to be targets for the way up. So what Fred's talking about is the poor high...
yesterday. There's the micros. I don't know if it's the same in the S&Ps. Let's look. Yep. Poor high in the S&Ps as well yesterday. Morning, Mia, me, or Miami. Hey, Randolph made it. Don't tell him what I said. So the uh, the perma bear is now here. Let's see what he's thinking. What's up? Oh. <clears throat> hey, how you doing? More good. Good. Morning. Good. How you feeling? A little slow, but okay. Yeah. Did you guys go out last night? No. 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 Saving that for this weekend, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Saving it for you. <laughs> so, we, we, done, we talked to Smack, huh? Yep. yep. I told him you were probably hungover. Good. No, no. Not at all. So we were kind of talking about the idea here, Rick, that the fact that we opened in range and in value from yesterday, and we're yeah. you know we're in a short time area of balance. This is the daily here, for context for you, Randolph. Mm -hmm. So we're range bound. We're looking to see if we can't get to some longer time frame weakness to, to look to buy because we put in a poor high yesterday. We thought about I mean, we thought about looking for like the the value um, the point of control from yesterday either volume or TPO which is down here but we weren't able to get there the market seems to be trying to keep us out at least for now if that's what we're trying to do. Right now, the it's, stats are going to be weighing on it a little bit, but yeah, I can't argue with your logic. Where's we be with? Uh, where is it? I may have to. Uh, there it is. View app. Didn't I just put it on? Save. <coughs> Let's f bomb this thing. <clears throat> okay. Oh, got to put it on the... There it is. We were looking at the daily. VWAP 3920. Oops. I still got these fibs on here from yesterday. Yeah, lots of stuff on there. Is with the spaghetti. Yeah. There we go. So on the thirty minute chart here, let me get this off here. On the thirty minute chart here, we were kind of looking at this as a short time frame area of balance. Well, we've broken mm -hmm. out, which means you, you know, you can go with a breakout from balance. I don't know how far it's going to go. For some reason, I, I got to really look closer to that 38.95 where it went down to. Yeah, that's support. I know you're. I know you're looking at this here, right? Yep. Yeah. So and that, then you're gonna have support, you know, at those double lift lows there around thirty-eight seventy-five. Yeah, they took the opening range out. No, they did. Yeah. 
it's been beaten up so bad, John, as I said. I, know. Yep. I think it could, you know, give you an opportunity to catch a bounce. And then up by the walk, see if there's those tops. I might, wouldn't mind taking a short up there. Yeah, right up here, right? The upper extreme. Oh, yeah, off of those. Yeah, or, you know, at the even even and just give it a little, little, little cushion. But, uh, it might be a range day, you know? Well, uh, dude, I mean, when we open in range and in value, there is that possibility. Yes. What do you think of the numbers? Um, well, I mean, I'm no economist. <laughs> Uh, well, I know, but uh, you, you know, there's next it looks like it looks like there's you know potentially an increase in supply in homes in the future, yeah, which could Starts be up. which could be anti inflationary, right? You got a higher supply, um, uh, mm -hmm. as far as jobless, jobless claims are concerned, and we got a little bit of a drop in that, which it's hard to tell, uh, what that's going to mean. They're not huge numbers, but it's no. kind of a mixed bag, right? Right. Philly Fed was kind of uh, kind of shattering. We were looking for minus 15 after last month's uh, minus 24.3. They were looking for minus 15.6, came out minus 23.2. So a little slowing in, in, in manufacturing in, in uh, the, the uh, Philadelphia area. Uh, mm -hmm. where was the? That coincides with yesterday's number. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a slowdown showing on the horizon. Yeah, so I mean, overall, I think it's, I think it's good. I think um, it, it may in, encourage a twenty-five basis point rate hike. What about no hike? No hike? Is that even on the table? Oh, yeah. It's zero. It's no hike based on uh, the PPI. And it's a quarter, I think, is like a courtesy bump because the Fed, I think, would have egg in their face if they don't raise it. But I think a half is, you know, detrimental. And I think they realize that. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Well, I don't know why the, the Fed would feel as though they need to to like keep egg from being on their face. Their face is in the <laughs> eggs all the time. <laughs> yeah. Paul does look like a pan of scrambled eggs anyway, but you're right. Green eggs and ham. You know, there's already eggs on there. What's the difference if it's a few more? Yeah, no, I don't. That's why I said it's more like a, you know, well, we got to do something attitude than, well, maybe we shouldn't <laughs> do the smart thing. Yeah, right. Like most economists say the Fed should stay out of it, but yeah, I don't know, know what they're doing. I know people that say that they should get rid of the Fed. Yeah, and the police. Yeah. Well, it looks like we had the right idea. We just didn't get deep enough for us to look for that opportunity. Bro, well, that wick down there, you, had to, you would have had to have your order in there. It wasn't there very long. Nice job, Green Jay. Green Jay set up a limit to buy it at 38.95 half. Boy, you really nailed the low there. Wow. Nice, nice trade. Uh-huh. And you just get out at 39.09, so nice job. Nice job. You going to reload if we get back down there, Green J? I think if it tests and fails, take it lower, absolutely. It's my humble opinion. Well, you're the perma bear. Cocaine bear. Mm. <laughs> so 
So I think I got the goat. Just the trader. Just the bear. Fred, should we look at yeah. should we take a look at uh, a second look at the overnight low? So, Fred, here's what, what was that? Well, here it is. We looked below it and we failed to accept. We should have been probably a little bit mm. quicker to the uh, to the punch mm -hmm. to to look for this long because this okay. is something that. I know Ben Ben talks about something I look at when we when we ex exceed the overnight range and come back in it it can mm -hmm. offer a relatively mm -hmm. cheap opportunity. That's low risk. Yeah. Which probably has something to do with G Green Jay's spot there that he was looking at. Mm-hmm. Green, Green Jay is done for the day. He's going to focus on that <laughs> consistency and just watch the markets for the rest of the morning. Always more to learn, right? Yeah. That's control, being able to do that and just walk away. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have over the blackjack table. Dia, Addy, I'm just going to say, sees a nice rotation to the bottom. We just had a move, and now it rests. We need to see the next direction. I'm kind of watching to see if we can re-accept in this area of, which would be considered by many to be supply, if we can get back in here and accept. Right now, we're rejecting this supply area. Rejecting on those lows. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I keep getting texts. Apparently, something's wrong with Luke's car. JT's looking to buy at $38.93.75 now for a long. Thirty-eight, ninety-three. So a little bit of a range extension, ninety-three. Not be not point, not quite to point of control. Do we want to join him? Let's do the poll. So we're Let's talking hit to hit the stops down there and then buy it. So JT is looking for a long at thirty-nine. Uh, thirty-eight ninety-three seventy-five. Thirty-eight ninety-three seventy-five. Do we want to take the trade? I'm gonna pull the YouTube. Dan, isn't there another one up? No, FRC. I was hearing this morning. Is that another bank that's having problems? Hey, John, you got to add another square on those. On what? It depends. Yes, no, it 38, depends. 93, 38, 93. 
Uh, no, I don't. It's yes or no. <laughs> All right. Pulling YouTube now. Stop just below 87. Green J, the stop is suggested at nice eight, below 87. It's about th six, seven points. Brett up 700. Done now. Off to work. Yeah. Good, have a good day. Nice job, Brett. Nice start to the day. All right. So we got 82% say yes and 77% on YouTube say yes. There good, it is. is 71% now. So we're going to set it up. What was that? That was... Thirty-eight, ninety-three, seventy-five. Hey, who's that? Scrabby needs to go out. What's her? Oh, that's the noise. Uh, yeah, it needs to go let her out. Hi, Eileen. She's at the front door. And you're in my ear, ear, uh, ear bud. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought I'd give it a shot. Yeah. All right, so we've got the orders in. And we'll see what happens. It's a beer how about, for a How about a Bloody right? Mary? Yeah. Nope, just coffee. Mm hmm. I mean, that's what I'm drinking too. Just coffee. Okay. Can't start drinking until afternoon. No, until after nine. We got about ten, eight minutes. <laughs> the breakfast of champions, John. Mm -hmm. RSI. What's that? What's the RSI? I can't see it. Uh, 35. Okay. It's another reason to maybe look for a buy. No real divergence here just yet. Yeah. What do we have here is Delta. 23, 24. Okay, this is correct. So we've got m more aggressive buyers. Mm -hmm. What's it look like? Just a little bit to the left of that. Here? Yeah. Space. Yeah, we get some some tops there too. Mm -hmm. And that red line. <laughs> oh, here value high from yesterday. Yeah, that's one down too. Here as that's well. Right, but yeah, it was to the left. Yeah, it's our that's our current low. Yeah. So demand. Supply. Yep. Back and forth. Back and forth. 
Nine o'clock, five minutes, yelling starts yelling. Jeez. That's all we need. We need yelling, yelling, and barking, barking. Yeah. And Powell, powing. <clears throat> no, I don't think you're overthinking that at all, Bob. Spike Mills back down. 104 and a half. Chad, if we can get up in the high 20s, we could sell one against yesterday's high, but that's a poor high. Remember that. So that's First Republic. The bank fell for 3%. Is that right? I'm reading about it now, yeah. Isn't that the one in New York, or that's Signature Bank? It's it's no. This is uh, another one. Another one now. Yeah, you got Signature, and then you got SRV. This is FRC. They call it First Republic Bank or FRC Mulling Sale Stock Plunges. So it's another another regional bank it's continued to sink. Great. Well, here's an article for CKML, First Republic Bank, first four reasons to buy. Hmm. I think it's a, maybe a buy opportunity. Well, I'm thinking now we, we're going to be, we're going to have to pay up a little bit if we're going to try and get long this thing. Patience. 39.12, back inside this area of balance and showing possible acceptance. Yeah. Huh. Fred. As I said, yeah. Fred is saying, is you're over. Get, you're getting into resistance, John, though. You're right. I mean, you're going to have to look to, if you want to go long, to buy the dip. Well, I'm looking at resistance yeah. up here now. Yeah, but that's resistance. Mm. So if it breaks above that, maybe take a long. Otherwise, we'll wait to see if the. Fed had say at night. Yelling. Fred saying his overarching uh, concern for now is to survive rollover without getting cut up. 100%, right? I hate rollover. We're looking for TPO now, so. Well, in TPO, Eddie, it's acceptance through time. Yeah. Time marks acceptance of price. In other words, the area that doesn't spend a lot of time is rejected. This spike 
this this buying mm-hmm. tale didn't have you didn't have a lot of time to react here but if we were to combine all of these this all would be acceptance of price mm-hmm. so there's your range right there's your range and so we're right in the middle of based it based on that you would have a rusting buy down there where um was it who, who bought that down there ben down here and the low tech the yesterday no today who had that oh, who caught the wall oh. well, the, well that means something about i it. mean this this is where the, the the extreme of the current longer time frame bounces down here yeah Um, that was. I don't have my chats up, so. Eddie's yeah, doing well. Fourteen hundred today for for forty eight hundred for the week. So done for the week. Nice job, Eddie. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Gets gets a pat on the back. I'm going back through the chat to see if I can find you're, that. You're a VY peer. There it is. Yeah. <clears throat> New TPO. I mean, this is excess here. If it if we don't come back down here and take this out, this is excess. So where did you buy it? We haven't. Is this A? Oh, I know that. This is B. But would you look to buy a dip? Where would you look? Well, I was looking at 12. Yeah. Low volume node here. 3912, 3910 area? Mm, 3914 now. You got a low volume mm-hmm. node right here at 13 and a half. You know, here's that upper end of the short time frame balance that we were in. Uh, Rusty Golfer John, is... Yeah, John says hi. Hi. I mean, says hi. Hi. Now, Rusty Golfer, your, your, your question here, so is rollover mainly a concern for swing traders? If you're flat every day, no problem, right? No, actually, um, it's a, it seems to be an issue for traders all over the place. There were there were there were scalpers and and directional traders on the pit that used to take the two weeks of rollover off because the market is the volume is split, the liquidity is split between two contracts, the front month and the next month. It's a little less liquid. Market doesn't go as far, goes too far. It's hard to put your finger on what makes open interest so difficult other than the other than the fact that you can't you can't really count on volume information or open interest information because the 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 longer time frame is is trying to get a cheap rollover accomplished instead of worrying about directional hedging and posturing. So it is, it is, it's always been an issue. I don't know what it is, but you know, for me, it's the fact that I can't count on volume and open interest information as, as dependably as I can when there's no rollover. It's like trying to watch it in, in, in crude oil. Crude oil rolls over every month. And so you only get a couple of weeks of clean data. The crew get crushed this morning. I need to look. I heard it was down like five or six percent ago. No. No. Here's the yesterday's range. Here's today's. So what it's a it's a hangover day. Oh. <laughs> nice. Crude is uh, down one point two percent. Okay. And 
below seventy dollars a barrel, isn't that where? Uh, yeah, that's where the we'll White House start, start buying it and putting it back into our reserves. Yeah, that's what uh, rumor had it, right? Back when he did. Uh, that was uh, that was a while ago. Uh, maybe they're moving the goalposts. That was right about here was when he started talking about it because we got down to seventy oh eight when he said it. That was the beginning of no, of December of last year, and mm-hmm. he scared the market back higher. And now it's below. And now, yeah, what's now the it's left? Below. This is the swing low we were kind of focusing on yesterday. That was sixty six twelve. And we got we did get considerably below it, but we didn't close below and then 60, it. And then those you got a double bottom, sixty one what? Around sixty two? Yeah. Here? No, over the left. You got one there and one further left. Yeah, that's sixty one seventy four and eighty two. Six ticks yeah. from each other. And then there's this definitely swing low. There's this swing low also. Right there. Yep. This swing low and here. You actually, too. actually, you got a third one if you go over a little bit further to the left, too. It's not too far out. Down here. Right there. Yeah. No. Over one. Right. It lines up with the other three. Other two. And old well, highs. This one so, here. I mean, that whole area. Yeah, that whole range right there. Mm-hmm. You know? Between sixty two and what's those highs? Yeah, somewhere down in the low six low sixty twos. Yeah. Yeah, because this is a nice yeah. base. Yep. Good uh, good demand zone. But you got some bounces above that on the, like like that double line there. You got a couple bounces from the upside, so it's turning to support and then you bounced off it on the upside, which is resistance. So it, once you broke through and it held, mm-hmm. that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a buy side. Right mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So your resistance turns into support. You tested it twice. Yeah, you did break through that one day, and then it was off to the races. So, yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember when I was on the floor of the Merck when crude oil traded under ten dollars a barrel. <laughs> you wanted to buy it, and I, and I called Dad. I go, "Yeah, should we buy a bunch?" He goes, "What if it goes to zero? <laughs> and I'm like, "Dad, come on, you're risking." The next day was it like seventeen, and and then next day twenty something, and then it was, you missed it. And this is New Yoda. Yep. Man. There's the NASDAQ. We are. There we go. So you did sell it at. if you want play check? Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't get instructions, man. You don't. You don't like. I, you know what? I I, I trade off that all the time, and I do pretty damn good. Yeah. So I think a lot of people do the same thing, and that kind of helps. Green Jay, here's my email. Look to buy it now. It's down near the lows. Well, I, you know, our overnight low got looked below and then and then came back. I think we may be um, trying to cut a fat hog in the ass if we try it again. We've got this area of balance. We mm-hmm. seem to be having trouble holding inside of it. I'm willing to take this 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 long. And then risk new lows. Yeah. Yeah. 
maybe I wonder what Yellen's saying. You know, I was thinking when it was up there in the room, nine little after nine. She's not going to say anything, po- po- you know, positive in my book. So maybe she's uh, poo pooing it. Who knows? I'm not seeing anything on financial juice that she has said. I'm not seeing anything on Twitter that she has said, at least not yet. It's all yeah, about. Vince, I think Yellen, Yellen speaking. Um, everything's about Lagarde. Nothing about oh, Yellen. There you go. Problem is, she doesn't know what she's talking about. So. Well, that's probably why they're ignoring her. Oh, he hasn't. She hasn't started yet. He said. Oh, okay. Yellen she hasn't started one. yelling. I can, have, I can have two computers going. Mm. Yeah, blame it on Trump. <laughs> it's the. It's not us. It's the other guy, right? Yeah. Vince, you said 3900 You going to take one here, Jeff? Vince was saying 3900 for a long to the lows. Let's take it. It, but what, it went down there. Well, we're long now. Oh, okay. I like that. More to one. My guy, so got my, dollar yet. my guy Vince is, he, he finds really good trade locations. Now we, we paid up a little bit for it. He was looking for 3,900. I think we would have gotten it, but we're along now. Well, you, you get your 10% rule sometimes. Yeah. Get you in a little too early. Well, the, the 10% rule is for exits. <laughs> oh, not entries. No, okay. no. I'm usually very stingy with entries. I'm not going to pay a lot for that muffler. So where's your exit then? 15? Um, 18? VWAP? 39, 18. 39, 29. That'd be a nice trade. No, be under that twenty-five level, John. Under twenty-five, why? Look to the left. We got a bunch of highs. Up. Not on, there, on the other chart. Oh, a half hour chart. This one here. Yeah, right along there. You got C thirty-nine twenty-five. Mm-hmm. You got support. You got mm-hmm. resistance. Mm-hmm. We're right there. Mm-hmm. So should it pop? We got a poor high though. Yesterday. Yeah. Got a poor eye. Yep. Yeah. I like that. So I put in a stop here at 3890, 3896.75 on this trade. Because we're still looking for a long at 39, 3893.75. Or do we cancel that and move our stop? Move our stop below the low and take a look and see what happens if it gets down there. So we're long, and Mr. Valentine has set the price. Bring that dollar with you when you come up. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no problem. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll if this trade if this trade, if this trade works out, I'll make it two. Yeah, remember last time I told you to sell it? Just leave the stop where it is and walk away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even a blind squirrel finds an acorn once in a while, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
amen to that. <laughs> All right, so what do we do with this one? We're kind of getting short on time. I'm going 39.30, and we're just going to let this fly. We'll see what happens at the end of the day. Or sooner. Pardon? I said or sooner, depending on what happens. Right, right. Yeah. All right, we trade well. Have a good one. Well, we got five minutes left here. We don't. We don't have to hurry. Oh, I thought you were bailing. No, no, I got. I got. I do have a meeting in about five minutes, so that I will have to do. I'd like to see you close with a winner here. Uh, Mark O, oh, this is not trading view. This is trade of eight. But I do have a template that I can email you if you email me that you that you're looking for it. Barry, I'm sure there are folks that use Hike and Ashy, just not me, and I don't see many of them. Tim says this is a short. You may be right. <clears throat> T Andy. There you go. You got one, Barry. Profit taker he looks at him. I don't know what's yelling, yelling. Still don't see anything on the wires about her. Hang on, she's busy selling S and P's. <laughs> That's Pelosi. <laughs> her husband, not her. Yes, of course. Yes, he's a genius. Psychological level too. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Thank, thank you. The market always goes to liquidity. Yeah, a few whacks in the hand. Jeez, tough crowd. Barry only uses the five minute charts. We do put up a five minute chart here from time to time. Barry, if you want to come come to chat and and uh, work that context with us, we'll be happy to, to to take a look at what you're seeing. Have to do that another day though, because I am. Out of time. We're going to see if this play, we'll figure out if this hits the stop or hits the target, one or the other, or MOC out on the close. And uh, I guess we can talk about it on Monday. I'm not going to be here the rest of the day and and uh, and tomorrow. So we're just going to see the, see how this plays out. It'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be out by 2 p.m. Central if, if, if that's it because I'm out of here. Blessings, everyone. <laughs> Everybody trade well. Have a good one. You too. Thank John, you. I'll talk to you. Yep, yep. See you soon. Bye. Blessings, everyone.